Is this on? Oh yeah, it looks like it's on. Hey guys, it's Brian here at Our Family Bungalow. We were originally going to have a video today about, oh, with the whole clan together, but something came up. Um, you know, Joe, as you know, guys, Joe got back in town. He's been gone for about a half a year. And uh, everyone just had a, they had personal obligations. You know, Joe's an adult. We're all adults. So <laughs> it's just me on the bungalow right now with my youngest, Michael. And um, we're just going to show you how our day is going today. And maybe next weekend we can. Hi. That about sums it up. But maybe we can, next weekend we can show you guys the video we were trying to shoot today. But let's give you a little inside look. Okay. So it's not going to let me flip the view of the camera. So we're going to try to work with what we got. Okay, so Michael's going to clean up some of the pig pen area here today. And this is the water. Now, we're going to put fresh water inside there, but it's going to look like this in about 10 minutes. So the struggle is real. This is something we have to deal with, with these knuckleheads all day long. Dump this water. Right here. They make it all dirty. <laughs> I'm gonna jump. You want to show them what's on the bottom of that? Look at that. It doesn't take long for it to get like that. So I'm gonna flip it this way up and I'm gonna get all the dirt out. I don't know if you can hear because we don't have a good microphone on this camera yeah. yet. So but I'm going to get all the dirt out with the hose. He's getting all the dirt out with the hose. And he's flipping it up. So he, sometimes they like to do their dirty potty business inside of their drinking water, which I'm not fully understanding why. But we just make sure we clean it out pretty good. I'll take that. I'll hold, yeah. I'll hold it. Ready? All right. And we want it far enough out of the way, but not so far out of the way that it's close to the electric fence. Electric fence right there. You can't see it. Um, Brian put those, um... You see those yellow things? They think that's what shocks them, but it's actually the wire that zaps them. Yeah, they when they see any of those, uh, they're called wire insulators or T-posts. Whenever they see those, they think it's the T-posts that shocks them, not the wire. Yeah, and um, if like if you have electric wire, never stick anything out metal on it, because then you'll get shocked. Um. If you uh, stick, like, say if I stick metal right now and I hold it onto the metal, I would get shocked as well. So if you get, have electric fence, do not do that. I like having Michael on the crew, aside from loving our little nine, almost ten-year-old. He's a really good help around the barn, or the, around the homestead. Yeah. So Michael right now, can't really see him too well. You'll see him when he pops around. What he's doing is he's checking the electric fence as part of our daily duties. And he's just making sure that we're not grounding out at any point around the electric fence because it will lose charge. So he's making sure the fence isn't touching the wood fence, hog panels. And he's also making sure the electric wire isn't touching any grass or anything leaning against it that's also touching the ground because then all the electricity goes to the ground and if anybody touches it then they won't get warned to stay away. Good? So Michael's just inspecting everything. He just looked at the roof, make sure there's no holes. Uh, he looked at their hay dispenser and Michael did a really good job making sure that this pig pen was secure enough for them to be comfortable as possible. But, uh, buddy, you ready to, uh, you ready to move on? <laughs> He's a goober. You ready to move on and, uh, look at the chickens? Because we got to look at the rest of the farm, right? Make sure they're all good. All right. We'll meet you over there.
Um, these are this one plant right here is a rag.